time for Pet Talk with local veterinarian, Dr. Sue Wilagala, speaking about summer pet tips, if summer ever arrives, and <laughs> Buffalo Animal Shelter volunteer, Dustin Yerman, with this week's most adoptable pet of the week. This is Curly, everybody, and Curly <laughs> is adorable. And you say he's about three to four years old? Yeah. Yeah, he's a male. Yes, he came to the shelter as a stray. Uh, I'm really not sure of what his breed is, some sort of terrier or <laughs> yeah, yeah, he doesn't care either. Yeah. He's a little guy, really yeah, small, yeah. Um, so super sweet. friendly, super sweet, likes other dogs, and just, just a sweet temperament will make a great pet in a lot of different situations. So, And look, he's like, he's super one of a kind dog, so that's just cool, you know? Anyone can get like a Yorkie or a right. Yeah. Well, right. who's got a curly terrier? Yeah. Nobody. Yeah, he is exactly. Just gorgeous. He's and, really cute. And may we say to our viewers, thank you, because last week's pet got adopted as well. I know, and we're on such a, like a winning streak. I know, like, I know. And I don't think Curly's going to be there too long. No, he's really cute. Not yeah. with his temperament, no. Curly, what are your hours today, Dustin? We're open until 3 today, but tomorrow is our late day. We're open until 7. Okay. If you have another dog, we, um, we require to do a meet and greet, so bring your dog with you. Um, but, once he's adopted, yeah. he'll be neutered, uh, vaccinated, microchipped, ready to go. And I would not wait a, 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 at all with Curly. You better get right down there. No. Because Curly's He's not really going to last. He's and really that's a good cute. thing. Yeah. All right, let's talk about some summer pet tips. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we had a brief stint when it was warm, really warm a couple of weeks <laughs> ago. But it seems like every year we have to really remind people how to practice some safety situations with your pet. And probably the first and most foremost thing is, is cars and heat. Mm. Do not, do not, do not take your pet with you when you're running errands in the summer. Even a couple of minutes with the windows cracked, even on a 70 degree day, mm -hmm. it can get well over 100 degrees in a very short period of time. And we see too often animals present with heat stroke in really preventable situations. So some common sense things, and I think the basic bottom line is, you know, that little trip to the store that was gonna be two minutes turns into 10 minutes, mm -hmm. and now you've got a problem and, and a potentially life-threatening situation with your pet. So, so really avoid that. Um, when we get into the really hot days of summer, just like us, you know, really if you're gonna take your pet out for a walk, do it early morning and later evening when the sun is down and the temperature is down um, so it is not quite as hot for them. Mm -hmm. You know, not only for respiratory issues, especially depending on the breed, but also their pads. I mean, mm -hmm. people forget if it's hot for you to walk on asphalt, it is hot for and them. sidewalks, yep. I see so all these people bringing their dogs to like you know, Allen Street, the Art Festival. Right. Oh, and my I, biggest pet peeve. It right. drives Taste me the crazy mm -hmm. because the you know, it's not only the exposure, yeah. is, yeah. but it is the asphalt is incredibly hot. Mm -hmm. And I just, we see all summer long pets coming in with burnt pads. So really be cautious. How do you treat a burnt pad? Well, it's just time. So it's bandaging, mm. it's topical medications, it's pain management because it's incredibly painful. Um, so it really is a process to get these to heal. Um, so it is something that prevention is the better way to go. Right, and they can't tell you. No, you know? they really can't. So you can't. have to be really the eyes and ears for your animal. Yeah. You know, make sure I have cats at home. So one of the things I'm always cognizant of is when I put the screens in, making sure the screens are really tight yep. um, because they sit in those windows and they lean against those screens just like you wouldn't want a child child That's to fall right, out, you right. really got to be careful with your pets. It's very true. Yeah. Very true. And please make sure if you're going out for the day that that animal is getting some air. Yep. And make sure fresh water too. Oh, absolutely. And some shade. All time. You know, they, All time. They'll, they're smart. They'll go and find uh, the floor that's the coolest for yep. them to lay on. Yeah. You know, they're, and, they're and amazing. Same thing if you leave them outside. You know, talk to your veterinarian about flea and tick oh, control. Right. Ticks are a huge problem. They Me weren't too. before, they're a huge problem. Yeah. So talk to your veterinarian about flea and tick control, sunscreens, and really practice um, practical safety tips for sun and heat. Right. And please, if you're going to leave them outside tied up, make sure they have shade, yes. make sure they have water. <sighs> And not just on the end of a chain somewhere. Uh, yeah. Because, yeah. you know, <sighs> that we had just a dog makes last us all week crazy. that came in that had heat stroke. Really? Yeah. yeah the We're owner was uh, intoxicated, left him out all day and all yeah. night. And, uh, and, and people don't realize, and, and breeds, especially if you do have one of the breeds that has the more pushed in face, mm -hmm. so the brachycephalic breeds, they are incredibly 
um, sensitive to heat, so they cannot tolerate heat the way another breed with a longer snout would. But mm -hmm. you know, just be practical and really think about it and, and practice safety steps. If there's any questions, contact your veterinarian for their advice. All right. Curly is waiting for you over at the Buffalo Animal Shelter. I would make tracks to get there right away. <laughs> And we want to thank uh, them and the Niagara Veterinary Society for making these wonderful segments possible.